English teacher at Granite Hills High is empowering students to make their campus a happy place for all. In this morning's Everly Zone, Jefferson El Cajon to visit the front lines of the Battle of the Beige. This story is about an unsung hero, a teacher who says beige is just so boring. Walk the halls of Granite Hills High. There is a lot of concrete, as I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> You'd never know. Teacher Tracy Brewer has quietly convinced her students to beautify the campus and wants credit for none of it. That's entirely my personality. <laughs> Your mom emailed and yes, said, yes. Tracy needs to be in the Zebelly zone. <laughs> Does that sound like something your mom That's would do? totally my mom, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Whereas with me, I was like, my kids totally need to be in the Zebelly zone. <laughs> we spent probably more time than we needed to on this mural. <laughs> Students like Ember, Marnie, and Finley from the Street Art Club. We, uh, touch things up pretty, pretty often. In the month of April, this wall went from beige to beautiful. It used to just be like plain brick. Yeah, just plain brick and this whole space was like really dirty because students weren't taking care of it very well. And speaking of color, Miss Brewer may have mentioned the need for a little green. So students started planting trees, 41 of them. She's definitely taught me to cherish and love our planet. Grace and Austin are national honor students transforming an ugly weed patch into a garden for special education students. It feels good um, just trying to make the community better, make the school better in any way we can. It feels good. I think ever since I've been here since a freshman, it's always been inclusive. Tell him your name. Hi, Melissa. Students like Vanessa and Brady. I want to make it into a jungle. And we can do a picnic. And Maribel say this space will be just for them. Read a book and relax. Maybe lay down the grass. Miss Brewer and her helpers want to put the community to work as well with donations. The students are asking for lumber, whiskey barrels, picnic tables, shovels, gloves, and a shed. A lot of it's going to be you guys deciding what you're going to put in the raised beds. Behind it all, Miss Brewer quietly pulling strings On TV. and students together. She doesn't want to take any credit for this project. Like, I hope everyone's telling Ms. Brewer how much we love her, because mm -hmm. she did a lot. She deserves the credit. It's true. One could only hope a battle against beige <laughs> ends with a victory dance. I can't dance. <laughs> In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Sevely, CBS 8.